please don't hang up on me, Mr. Scan. Revenue service, you are talking to Agent White. How can I help you? I'm returning a call that said I had four serious allegations against me. Can I have your first name and the last name so that I can quickly pull out the records for you? My first name is Alphonse. Last name is Capone. C O P O N E. Let me pull out the records for you. Okay. Thank you for being on hold. Are you still there, sir? Yes, I'm here. Yeah. Regarding the call from the Internal Revenue Service, my name is Agent White, Kevin White, and my badge ID is 129. Regarding the call which you are getting from us, sir, one of my legal officers was trying to contact you in regards to your lawsuit to take down your lawyer's information. Lawsuit? Awesome. Yeah. Yeah to take down your lawyer's information that you have been caught committing a tax fraud to the Irish government in your personal income tax, which you pay every year. So do you have a lawyer who can represent you in the courthouse? Well, no, I don't have a lawyer. I, I can, I don't know. You remember that you had to pay, your, you used to pay your personal tax to the IRS every year, right? I do pay them every year. So you are the one who used to pay your personal taxes, or there is some third party who used to pay your taxes on behalf of you? No, Johnny Torrio does my taxes for me. Exactly. So they made a mistake, okay? And it's up to you now. And this is your case. And I've received... You are really sure that you have no clue about this case, sir? You are really, sh you are really sure that you have no clue about this case? No, I'm not clear about anything. I mean, taxes, they're going to be on tax fraud? Yeah, tax fraud to the Irish government. Well, and your personal income tax. And we, and, and as I can check on my database, that we have tried to reach you more than three times. And well, I'm a, the last, and the final, I'm a tough guy to get, I'm kind of a tough guy to get a hold of. I'm a busy, I'm a busy man. Got a lot of businesses going here. Exactly. So this is the last time you are getting call from us, all right? And as I can check on my database, if I have received a legal affidavit against your name. So what can I do is I can, I can try to pull up the affidavit regarding your case and give you some information which might help you in your case. Okay. But, be, but before I proceed, sir. Well, I won't back down. No, I won't back down. Do not interrupt me in middle, because this call is recorded and monitored by the local authorities and the Irish government. If you have any question, any doubt, you can ask me when I'm done reading your affidavit. All right? Um, okay. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. The Irish, after undertaking a statutory audit on the tax filing between year 2011 to 2015, listen carefully, okay, sir? Okay. Yeah, I'm listening. The IRS, after undertaking a statutory audit on your tax filing between years 2011 to 2015, has concluded that tax which has been paid by you has gone wrong. The IRS is not claiming that you are not paying your taxes because IRS knows that you are paying your taxes on a regular basis. Well, yeah, Johnny Torrio does them every year for me. I'm sorry, sir. Johnny Torrio, I give him all the paperwork, he's the bookkeeper. I give him everything. Yes. If he did him wrong, believe me, he will pay dearly. Listen to me, listen to me first. If the, before you sign, you can read the paperwork and anything happen. Do you know how many things I sign a day? I, I got deliveries coming in from Canada. I got stuff coming across the lake. I, I haven't got time to read every little item that Johnny Torrio puts in front of me. Yes, yes. So when you sign that paper, there's a clearly written that you will be the responsibility, not the third party who used to pay your taxes. It's you who is going to face the consequences whenever in the future there is a tax fraud. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have Frank Nitty do him next year. Believe me, Toria won't be around next year.
Yeah, this is the reason you are getting called from us, sir. So let me finish your affidavit, all right? Yeah, finish that affidavit. Once, once I'm done, you can ask me. Okay, all right? go ahead. When we have done an audit of your tax returns, we have found out that you have broken the rule number 30A of the IRS court. The IRS has discovered some strong evidence that this was not a result of innocent negligence. Rather, we have reason to believe that it was a willful act done by you with the intent to defer the IRS and you had failed to declare your actual income which was higher than it was mentioned in returns. Who sent, oh, who sent you this stuff? Ness? Did Elliot Ness turn me in? Sorry, sir. Elliot Ness turned me in, didn't he? That sir, rant. I've already told you, this call is recorded by the local authorities and by the Irish wow. government. Wow, okay. I, I, would, I would be pleased, I would be pleased if you stay quiet. All right? Go ahead. So I was declared that you had been wrongly benefited from deduction for which you are not eligible, and every year you pay less taxes than you are supposed to, which accumulates the amount of $3,980. I repeat the amount. It's $3,980. Okay. Now, once you are confiscated, you will have all this allegation. You will have to bear a jail term of no more than 10 years. You will have to bear a penalty amount of no more than $10,000. You will have to bear both the penalties. So, sir, you could be spending at least three months in jail before the investigation huh. are completed. All right, can you put the phone? Help me out okay. Sir, if you think this is a funny, if you think this is a kind of joke, you can hang up the phone, okay? I don't think it's a joke. I didn't say anything about a joke. I'm just thinking about Johnny Torrio and what's going to happen to him. He made a mistake, and now you're going to face the problem, okay? Listen carefully to your affidavit, sir. I'm trying to. You could be spending at least three months in jail before the investigation are completed, and you will not be given a bail. Now, if you have any clear convocation, including but not limited work life checks, grant theft, or money laundering, Please be aware that they will handle your case as that one of an habitual offense as your state is a zero tolerance province. Now what this means for you is the IRS will mark a lien on your assist, including a house and a car. All your non bank accounts could be frozen and confiscated. You would not be able to access your bank account till the time it is frozen. IRS will be filing a notice of federal tax line informing the public and your creditors regarding the government's legal claim to your property. The credit reported agency would be notified about your tax fraud and line on your assist. All your wages and benefits would be frozen by informing your employer and the government bodies. Self-employed. Yeah. Now at the end, you do have a right to hire an attorney and fight this case against IRS in the courthouse but be aware, once you are found guilty, you will have to bear all these expenses, which includes court charge, government fees, attorney fees, your back taxes, light payment, and other overdue charges, which might sum up to $60,000 to $80,000, plus a jail term of five years and ten months. So finally, I did my job to notify you about this case so that you cannot stay in the court. You are not aware about this case, and the only person who is going to reap the rewards or pay the consequences is you. And Johnny Torrio. Do you have any question before I transfer this call to my senior officer? Well, what, what, did you, what did you say about money laundering? I heard money laundering, but I didn't hear what you said. So, that's the reason I told you to listen carefully, okay? I was listening carefully, but I couldn't hear what you said. Sir, let me do one thing, okay? Let me transfer this call to my senior officer, revenue officer from Internal Revenue Service, and let he will assist you, and he will help you to fight your case, all right? Okay. All right. But make sure do not put on hold, do not put on mood, let's be online. All right. Okay. Thank you for holding. Yes, hello. Okay. The call has been transferred to Senior Tax Revenue Officer. My first name is Simon. 
and my last name is Matthews. Okay. Please write down my federal badge ID number, which is one zero 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 eight two nine three five one. Oh shit. I okay. represent the tax revenue department for internal revenue and write down the callback number as well, which is five oh nine three five three oh five oh eight. Extension one one two seven. Five oh eight. One one seven. Okay. So, who am I talking to? Who you? Alphonse Capone. He didn't tell you who I was? You have any problem giving me your name again? No, no problem, but you would think the guy would tell you who you're talking to. The call got transferred to my cubicle, sir. So, obviously, it's my job to confirm your name okay. again. Okay, well, it's Alphonse Capone. So, Timmy, may I help you? May you help me? I don't know. He transferred me to you. He said I owed thirty nine eighty in taxes that Johnny Torrio did for me. Okay. Do we have a reference number? No, he just said it was thirty nine eighty. He didn't give me no reference number. Okay, let me just check it for you. Hold on, please. Oh, boy. I'm not the person who called you. What happened to you, sir? Nothing. I'm right here. Nothing? Nothing. I'm, I'm waiting for you to talk. I don't, I don't even know what's going on here. This guy just transfers me to you. You don't know who I am. And he says I owe 3980. First of all, sir, do not show me attitude, okay? Do not what? Don't show an attitude. Is that what you said? Do you know who you're talking hey, to? Do you know who you're talking to? Do you know who you're talking to? I don't care who I'm talking to. You're talking to Alphonse Capone. Even I don't care, sir. Oh, you will care. If I call you, all I need to do is call Jack McKern. You'll find out. Now, how do I pay this goddamn money you want? I'm not going to jail. You're not going? No. How do I pay it? Well, I'll make sure you will go. I won't go. It'll take a lot more than you, buddy. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> how much? How do you want the money? How do I pay you so I can get this over with? That's all I'm asking. You don't have to get an attitude with me. Well, that's not your business, sir. What's not my business? To pay me. Well, who do I pay? Elliot Ness? That rat? I beg your pardon? Elliot Ness. Do I pay him? Well, I mean, up to you if you want to. Well, I want to get this over with. I'm, I don't want to go to jail. Don't Johnny to Torrio to did the tax. Johnny Torrio did the taxes. Johnny Torrio is going to pay the price, believe me. Come no, Valentine's Day, right. come Valentine's Day, Johnny Torrio is going to get his. No, no, sir. He will not. He most certainly will. Are you sure about it, sir? I'm positive. No problem, sir. Let's go ahead and proceed ahead. Let's see who pays. Okay. Okay? How do I pay? You won't tell me how I pay. I told you, sir, you have no options to pay. I would not want you to pay. Oh, you don't want me to pay now? Make up your fucking no, mind. No, 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 sir. I won't, sir. I mean, you know, I'm a busy man. I haven't got time to screw with this. Either I pay it or I don't pay it. I don't care one way or the other. Ah, sir, but I do care, and I will make sure all your precious time will be going resolving this case. When you will go into court every now and then, let's see. Been okay. threatened before by better people than you, pal. Hmm. That time will show you. You really don't know who I am, do you? So do one thing, sir. Oh, sir, stop that crap, okay? I do not care, I told you, sir. You don't care who Alphonse Capone is. You will find out. Sir, I know who I am, that's it. You know who you are, and that's it, huh? <laughs> oh, boy, you're funny. You're funny. Unlike you. Well, uh, are you going to tell me what to do or not? I, I don't understand what's going on here. 
Well, why not, sir? You are, you are too smart, right? Maybe Tony or Cato should pay a, pay a little visit to you and let you, visit, mm -hmm. let you see Tommy. Do you know who Tommy is? Tommy? Tommy Gunn, yeah. <laughs> Tommy Gunn. Well, do nothing, sir. What? He's gone. When the scammers 